Tired of low FPS ruining your CSGO matches? Don't worry, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you quick and easy tips to boost your FPS and enjoy smoother gameplay. If you're ready to dominate, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more gaming tips and tricks. Let's jump in. First, go to your in-game settings and select the video tab. Begin by setting the display mode to full screen for an immersive experience. Next, choose the aspect ratio as 16.9 to achieve a widescreen view. Select the resolution that matches your display's native resolution for optimal performance. Set the refresh rate to 60 Hz and adjust the brightness to 100% for the clearest. Visuals. Finally, click Apply Changes to save these settings. Next, head to the Advanced Video Settings. Enable the Boost Player Contrast option to enhance visibility. Then, turn off V-Sync to boost performance. Set NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to Enabled and select the Boost option for reduced input lag and faster reactions. Lastly, adjust the maximum FPS to 400 and set the minimum FPS in menus to 200. These adjustments will help deliver a smoother and more responsive gaming experience. To begin, download the CSGO FPS Boost Pack from the link provided in the description box and extract the RAR file to your desktop. Inside the folder, you'll find several directories including CS2 Priority, Fix Input Delay, Network Tweaks, and Batch Tweaks, along with a text file titled Get Maximum FPS and Zero Ping in Any Game. Start by opening the CS2 Priority folder and selecting the Priority Tweak based on your PC's specifications. For mid-range PCs, choose the Mid-Priority Tweak, and for high-end systems, go with the High Priority option. This helps optimize your game's performance according to your hardware. Next, move to the Fix Input Delay folder and locate the fix. Ping Command TXT file. Open it, copy the ping command inside, and then search for CMD Prompt in your Windows search bar. Right-click on Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. Once the Command Prompt window appears, paste the copied ping command and press Enter to reduce your ping and improve your gaming experience. Afterward, run the timer resolution setup and set the timer resolution to 0.500 milliseconds by clicking the Maximum button. This tweak will minimize input lag and enhance system responsiveness. Then, open the Network Tweaks folder and execute the network optimization file to improve your network performance, reduce latency, and boost your online gaming experience. Simply double-click the file and follow any on-screen instructions. Lastly, go to the Batch Tweaks folder and run each batch file in order. These files apply a series of optimizations to your system, such as disabling unnecessary background processes and adjusting settings for better performance. By completing all these steps, your system will be optimized for smoother, more responsive gameplay, ensuring a competitive edge during your gaming sessions. In the next step, open the Get Maximum. FPS and zero ping in any game text file and copy the command from there. Then, go to your browser, paste the link, and click on the Download for Windows button to begin the download. Gear Up Booster is a powerful game optimization tool designed to improve network performance by minimizing lag and stabilizing ping, ensuring smoother online gameplay. Compatible with a wide range of platforms and games, it guarantees an optimized gaming experience. Download this program from the link in my description. To get started, we'll disable the power throttling feature on your PC. First, Press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit msc and hit Enter to open the local group policy editor. Next, navigate to Computer Configuration, then go to Administrative Templates, followed by Windows Components. Locate and open the App Privacy folder. Find the setting titled Let Windows Apps Run in the Background and set it to Disable to Turn off this feature. After that, go to the System folder and find Power Management. Open the power throttling settings and enable the option to disable power throttling. Click Apply, then OK. Finally, head to the Energy Saver Settings folder and adjust the Energy Saver Battery Threshold options to disable power saving for both plugged in and battery modes. Apply the changes and close the editor. You're all set. Now, I'm going to show you some NVIDIA control panel settings to help improve your performance in CS2. First, open your NVIDIA control panel Navigate to the 3D Settings section and select Adjust Image Settings with Preview. From there, set it to Use the Advanced 3D Settings. 
After that, go to the next option, which is Manage 3D Settings. Open up the settings, and here we find our global settings. Simply scroll down to find Low Latency Mode. Set it to Ultra, enabling Low Latency. Mode and setting it to Ultra in CS2 reduces input lag, allowing faster response times. This leads to smoother gameplay and potentially higher FPS by reducing the time between actions and their execution. Now, scroll down to the Power Management Mode setting in the NVIDIA Control Panel. Set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. This setting ensures that your GPU runs at its highest performance, which can help boost FPS in CS2. After making this change, click Apply to save the settings. This adjustment will help maximize your system's capabilities, providing smoother and more responsive gameplay. In the next step, we'll optimize your game for high performance by adjusting some graphics settings. First, go to the search box and type Graphics Settings, then hit Enter. Once the Graphics Settings window opens, click on Browse to add CS2 to the list of applications. Optimizing these settings will help reduce lag, improve frame rates, and provide a more responsive gaming experience. After adding the game, click on the Options button next to it. From the available options, select High Performance, then click Save to apply the changes. This ensures that your system prioritizes performance while running the game, leading to better overall gameplay. Thanks for watching! If these tips helped boost your CSGO FPS, don't forget to leave a like and share your results in the comments.